What's up YouTube? Welcome back to Gluten Free Learning! And in this video, we've summed up our tutorial 2. We've built our model and we chose a spring system because that's one of the more basic systems that we can analyze using the software. And now we're going to do a full example. I'm going to move a little bit faster in this video because I feel like you guys should have watched my other videos and you have a general understanding of all the terms and kind of how to build your geometric structure. There's going to be a few new things involved and we'll talk about those right now. So this is going to be our spring system. We have five nodes, two fixed supports at node one and five, an applied force, P equals 100 kilonewtons on node number three, and we're going to have a delta of 0 0.02 meters, and that's settlement. So that's one thing that's going to be new in this example. So we're going to be learning a little bit further. A settlement, I'll show you how to add a settlement onto a different node, and this can be in any direction or whatever. And in this case, it's in the right direction, it's in the positive um, x direction. Spring constants are all constant, uh, are all, all the same at 400 kilonewtons per meter. And support 5 has settled, which we've already talked about. So I'm going to talk about how we want to apply a settled support. And um, I'm going to move a little bit faster, like I said before. So try and keep up, pause the video, make sure you're following along and getting all the key points. All right. So again, we're in our model space now. And we want to basically copy this uh, structure or this project that we've got just on the bottom here. So we're going to start off by creating our nodes. We always got to make nodes first at the origin, sure. And now with springs, and in this case, we don't. it doesn't really matter how far apart they are because we're dealing with our support reactions and our settlements. Like we can, for springs, we can do one meter, two meter, three meter. It really doesn't matter. So let's just put them all at... Uh, an even distance, one meter apart. There we go, so we got one, two, three, four, five nodes, just like we got in the picture here, and we wanna throw down some springs. So linear axle spring up top. Remember, we have to have our member definition tool selected. Boom, boom, double click. Boom, 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 boom. Now, if you don't know what I did right there, I really suggest going back, looking at my other videos. They're super quick, they're like a couple minutes each, just learning how we can actually define tools and get our structure geometric shape. So like we said before, we've got our pre-stress at 400 kilonewtons per meter for every one. Oops. There we go, 400. Let's just double check everything worked out. 404, yep, good, good. All right, so we've got a fixed support at one. So let's go down our supports. Boom, boom, fixed support at five. Oh, but wait, we've got the new, the new thing here. So we've got a something's going on with, with support number five. We said it settled, right? So do we put a support tool at five? Still, yes, we do. So remember that you always put down your support tool at five. And then we want to go to our section properties, right? Remember, we've always got to define our section tools because we're dealing with a spring, right? So if you don't know why I'm doing this, watch my other videos, you'll figure it out. Add that to our library, update it, close. Just double check everything is good, yep. All right, so now we've basically got our our, geom our geometry, uh, geometric structure and our project defined. Now we want to add some loads. So down to the loads tab. What we want to do first is we want to put on a Let's put our P of 100 kilonewtons at node number three. So remember, we gotta to go to loads, joint load, Y force, no, let's go X, magnitude, 100 kilonewtons. And what is it on three? There we go. I don't know why I deleted there, but yeah, so make sure you have your 100 kilonewtons in your magnitude at node number three. Okay, geometry, everything's good. So now would be a good time to save our file. Okay, so everything is saved. That's always important. And now we can actually edit our loads. Go to edit, or sorry, make sure you're on the loads tab. Go to edit, load status, scale factor zero. So like I explained before, right now, even though we have a 100 load applied on three, scale factor zero is zero times 100, there's no force. We want 100 loads, so put a scale factor of one, update, Okay, boom. So now, now is the new thing that we haven't talked about yet. We want to put in something to do with our settlement 
at node number five. So this is going to change the displacements. This is going to this settlement is going to displace four and three and two, all because they're in a spring. Number one is fixed, so it's not going to change. So this is going to have a chain reaction. So what we want to do on the left hand side on under the loads tab, support settlement tool. Click it. X translation 0.02 scale load no. There we go. Save it. Edit load status, scale factor one. Okay, everything is good. Right on. So now save everything. And now we're ready to run the file. So let's double check if we have everything. So going back to geometry. Okay, so we've got all of our nodes, one, two, three, four, five. We've got our spring, 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 and spring. Our spring constant was all at 400, good. Go to our loads tab. Okay, we've got our 0.02 settlement, right? And then remember we have to click on our joint tool to show this. 100 kilonewtons in the right direction. Perfect, now we can check supports. Got a fixed and a fixed. Perfect, save it. Remember, we wanna run. Okay, zero, zero, zero. There you go, and that took me literally like maybe a few minutes, so I was I had to discuss things, but this is a super powerful tool. I mean, if you're taking finite element methods, this is an amazing tool for you to check your answers and even in structural analysis, which we'll talk about later. But let's now look at our numerical results. Boom, there we go. We got our translations. And notice it's in millimeters, and the five displaced by 20 millimeters. That was the settlement. So everything makes sense. And the highest translation was on joint number three, which was where the load was applied, which makes sense, all right? So that's basically it. That was a spring system with uh, something new, the settlement tool. Um, so I hope everybody kind of understands, and you should be able to replicate that without watching this video again. And uh, yeah, if anything was kind of unclear, I recommend going back to my beginner tutorials on number two and uh, just watch every step and see how I came up with, uh, with building the structure itself. And I, I go through in much more detail in this. This was a faster um, tutorial just so we can get a, an idea of how powerful this tool is and how to use everything that we've just learned how to do.